Hi, thanks for joining me today for another video lesson at Destiny Palmistry. We are mainly going to be talking about the achievement lines. These can be uh, related to various things in life like career, study, like achieving some sort of a degree or diploma. It can be any, any achievement of a goal, it can be something like a birth of a child, it can be a marriage, it can be a good outcome in a court case. Whatever is an achievement for the individual can show up as an achievement line. However, not everybody has these lines. So don't worry if your hands don't have achievement lines. It might just mean that your skin is not sensitive enough to show every little detail. If you have slightly coarse or tough kind of skin, you might only have a few lines, so your hands do not uh, absorb every uh, sort of a uh, part of your life, so they don't reveal a lot. So it doesn't mean that you can't have some kind of achievement if you are missing these lines. Right, so today's example reading, I'm going to do a quick look at the left hand first, but I'm mainly going to be reading from the right hand which looks like the dominant hand. So here's the left hand of this 40 year old male who is a lawyer. And I was very surprised to see this kind of headline on this hand. And it's very interesting because it's so short. And a short headline does give a quick mind and they like to get to the point quickly. They don't like to dwell on something too long or not go into too much detail about what's going on. But there seems to be like this line here that ends at the end of the headline. And that's kind of showing at a point in life where there's a big change, whether it's already happened Internally, in the mind, there might have been a change in outlook. And the star, <clears throat> very interesting as well. A star usually in the outer Mars area is a sign of tenacity. Someone who might get honours from being patient or have some kind of a moral courage. In general, it shows a determined nature, someone who's quite stubborn, but also quarrelsome, which is interesting because if he is a practicing lawyer, they have to kind of argue their point. So that makes sense to have that kind of a star right there. The other interesting lines were the several inspiration lines that rise from the heart line. This is the heart line if you are not aware much about palmistry. This is quite a strong heart line which makes up for the weakness of the headline. So he's using his passionate nature to drive him in his, especially in his early years. But the inspiration lines uh, or influence lines, he's inspired by his heart to achieve a goal and they are boosting his success line. This green is a success line and these lines that reach from the heart up to it are giving energy from the heart. So he may if not already, he will enjoy what he does to achieve the, his success. And those are pointing to around um, from 50, age 50 onwards. Right. Right, so we shall bring up the hand. right hand. Here it is. You can see I've drawn all over it because it might be very difficult for you to see the lines otherwise and I thought I'd do it in advance so I'm not trying to draw with my mouse here while I speak. So I'm going to 
be pointing to the areas what I'm talking about. Let's see if I've got a highlighter here. Okay, firstly, number one, the headline over here is independent from the lifeline, which is here. And it rises, well, it rises, it originates from the Mount of Jupiter, which is the area, the padded area under the index finger is the Mount of Jupiter. And that depicts the character, mainly the character of an ambitious, secure, confident personality who's independent, especially independent at an early age in their life. And it is definitely a very ambitious mark. Now, number two, we have this green line under the index finger and it's in, it's like broken up, but I see that as a partial ring of Solomon. And it's good that it's partial because it allows the energy to flow. It's not completely blocked, but it does show some selfless and intuitive abilities, a selfless nature with some intuitive abilities. And someone who understands people, they understand what they're going through, whether they are going through hard times or good times, and they almost sense it. They, they probably only have to speak to the person and they, they sense what that person is going through, through their feeling or facial expressions or whatever it may be. So that's a good mark to have there. Number three, <clears throat> we are starting with some achievement lines. Excuse me if I keep having to clear in my throat. It's a little bit dry today. So all these yellow rising lines that I've drawn, there's probably more than I've drawn. They are the achievement lines that we are talking about. And there are many on this lifeline here. Some of these achievement lines start at an early age, like probably as young as 15, right through 21, 28, 35, 40s, and so on. So they're, they're all very positive markings there. Now, the blue lines that relate to all of these lines on the mount, these are worry lines. If these blue lines go across right the way past the headline, and in this case, all the way up to the heart line, these are a little bit more significant. They are stress lines, and it looks like it's relating to the emotions. So he might have had some experiences that has stressed him emotionally. Now that those lines uh, together with the fate lines do form some cross marks between the heart line and the headline here. So there seems to be crosses there, but they are of no consequence. There's also some drooping lines from the heart line, like the pink lines I've drawn. They also form some lines that look like crosses. However, all that they are is some upsetting experiences. They can show up as um, whether they are broken relationships or some kind of uh, hurt feelings. It can be something like a negative attitude at a certain time. And it can also mean, especially if it's touching the headline, the mind is using the rational thought instead of the emotion. So the emotional side is reaching for a logical answer, so to speak. So those crosses um, are of no consequence. Number four. Number four, we have trauma lines. Now, these are similar to 
the stress lines, but they are up higher. And there seems to be several of them. The trauma lines, when they reach all the way to the Mount of Saturn, and they come from the early years in life, you can see that they rise up here. It doesn't necessarily mean trauma is such a big word, but it can be a time when the person had a lot of responsibilities. It seems that maybe at a young age, he had a lot of responsibilities. He may have been under a lot of stress or he may have had a lot of worry. There may have been a situation that happened in his younger years that, that caused him some trauma or worry. And um, I haven't had a conversation with him about that. But um, once he sees this video, he will, he will probably understand where this early worry comes from. His early part of the lifeline is also very frazzled looking. They're, they're, I've <coughs> drawn all over it now, but yeah, it was quite frazzled looking. So that shows somewhat difficult time in his earlier years. The lifeline becomes nice and smooth after the 40s. It's, I can see it's a clear line and there's all the frazzling has stopped. So it's nice to see the clear line. Now some of these lines are travel lines as well. I'm probably jumping ahead so I won't jump ahead. Right. Number five. We have the blue lines that come between the index and middle and the ring and pinky finger. That is a partial girdle of Venus. A girdle of Venus normally, a full girdle of Venus goes across like that. It is quite rare to have a full girdle of Venus. And it's good that it's not uh, complete because it, it lessens the meaning of it. A girdle of Venus always enhances the personality, whatever the personality is. If the person is always angry, then the Curdle of Venus gives more to it. It shows a sensitive and passionate nature, but that sensitivity and passion can go any way. You can be sensitive and get angry quickly. You can be sensitive and creative. You can be sensitive and psychic. There's many ways to be sensitive and there's many different ways to be passionate. So that is um, what those blue lines represent so not to be confused with all the other mess of lines I know it's hard to tell half the time right number six now we have the in the red down here we have the the fate line that rises nicely towards the middle finger and right about what age would I say? That is an achievement line. It's a branch that rises from the fate line. It's another achievement line. By the way, if you would like to read about it, I've just written an article about the achievement lines on my website, destinypalmistry.com. You can go there and read more about the achievement lines and what they mean on the other lines, etc. Right, so I was just looking at what age that achievement looks like it was in the 20s, maybe mid 20s. Because probably around about the headline mark is about age 35. So this achievement was five, probably 10 years before that. So I'm, I'm estimating this strong achievement line around age 25. Sometimes that line can mean an inheritance. It can mean some kind of a boost to the finances. Um, uh, it can be another one of those uh, good outcomes in a court case because uh, I've seen this line when somebody, for instance, uh, went through a divorce settlement and they ended up winning the case and getting the result they wanted. So that was financially rewarding for that person. 
So it can also depict financial rewards of some kind at that age. Now number seven, two fate lines. Now that strengthens career and sometimes it can show a very supportive partner or it can be a business partner or it can be that the person is still studying uh, as well as doing their work so whatever it is there's more than one thing going on regarding the career and it just gives it more strength and these two lines seem to stop around about the age of 50 and as you can see the fate line continues up here towards the middle finger but it shifts over a little bit so that's definitely like on the left hand showing a change around the age of 50 and the line goes quite smoothly with only a few interruptions from the girdle of Venus but that's nothing to worry about because the line just uh, goes straight through there no problems now to confirm we are going to go back down to the lifeline now down here where number nine the drooping lines that reach to other lines down here around about the same age for that 50 mark there is marks of change that might mean travel complete move might mean moving to another country as well and a few years later maybe another 10 years later there is another shift there's another fork in the heart not heart line lifeline so that shows another change again and it's a decision whenever there's a fork in the line it's a decision that can go either way so the person might get to a point in their life and decide they're going to go one way or the other so that could be a retirement type of decision that's what it would seem like okay now number 11 he has some nice clean healing lines which are on the area of the mercury which enhance communication so some people call them communication lines and it makes sense if this person especially is a lawyer it makes sense that he has the some empathy for his uh, clients he's not uh, a cold-hearted lawyer <laughs> as some of them are known to be okay so 12 the headline comes to a fork and that is traditionally called the writer's fork and what that shows is his ability to see two sides of a situation so that's a wonderful mark to have for someone who does law because there's a creative and softer side the nurturing side and then there is the more business-like logical mind and that's what the reason why they call that a writer's fork is because a writer needs to use his intelligence to come up with the story and it's very practical but the storyline itself is usually very creative so writers are creative and logical at the same time so it just gives that mind the ability to see many different sides and lastly well nearly lastly we have number 13 is that a nice strong marriage line now I know everyone wants to always know what what age they'll get married etc etc but I don't believe that such uh, timing is accurate he has a strong marriage line right in the middle of the edge of the mercury mount here and that does depict a good marriage it doesn't have flaws on it looks quite neat so that's a good marriage line and um, just wanted to point the energy uh, this hand shows good energy we have 
uh, what looks like a plump without being overly hard Mount of Venus and also a well-developed Mount of Moon, which gives the energy, enthusiasm for life. Sorry about that abrupt ending. I had a corrupt file. I was lucky to retrieve what I had. I only lost the very last couple of words of that video. That is the end. I hope you enjoyed learning today and I uh, look forward to doing another video again soon. Thanks for watching.